nice to hear from adults, but we also got to hear from some of the uh, group that participated at Perkins. So let's hear from the kids. Okay. It's about where this kid finds a package on his doorstep and uh, it has a, time, a thing that they thought was a radio, but it turned out to be a time machine that brought Ben Franklin and they went on this wacky adventure all throughout town, eventually winding up back home where they gave their mom an idea for a book. They actually, there's this man named, um, I forget his first name, but his last name is Ambrose, and everybody thought he was dead, but they actually find him, and he's alive. That sounds like an exciting story. All right. So are you going to participate at the District Battle of the Books? Yes, I am. They found the box, uh, like a box tape, whatever it's called, and then he, it, it, it came with some headphones, so they start pressing buttons, and Be Benjamin Franklin popped up in their bathroom, and because they went, like, he basically went back in time. And so then Benjamin Franklin was exploring everything and they went on a bunch of adventures. Um, it's about this kid named Lester who he has trouble in school and he goes to these separate classes, but his mom actually knows that he has autism, but he went to her closet to try to find his um, dad's old astronaut helmet and found some papers that said he had autism. I read 12 or 13. And of those books, which was your favorite? Bicycle Spy. Bicycle Spy. What's that book about? It's about um, a boy who has been riding his bike back and forth to his aunt's house to deliver pieces of bread, but in the bread are secret messages because this is during the time where um, the Jewish, it was with the Nazis and the Jewish, and one of his friends, Delphine, are Jewish, so their parents, his parents are in their resistance, so they help her and her family get to Spain before they find out. I really liked Sled Dog School. Okay. What was that about? That was about a boy around my age that had um, a project that he needed to do for school. He had to make a business and have three clients in about a month. And what does that have to do with sled dogs? And he used the sled dogs that he had because he lived in a place that snowed a lot. So he used his sled dogs for his project. And so he made like a sled dog school. Okay. <laughs>